We love giving you a voice on this Sunday morning. Like Foss in the control room, looking at all your tweets. And Mike, what are the people saying out there using that hashtag 7 Sports Cave? Yeah, as uh, you can imagine, a whole lot of tributes rolling into Mike Illich from uh, the fans across Metro Detroit. So we'll go ahead and jump right into it. We'll start with uh, Jeff says, Mr. I was the best team owner in the history of Detroit sports teams. He needed to win and set the standard for leadership. Steven says, I remember his historical major Little Caesars softball team hitting 400 foot bombs at Sterling Heights <laughs> softball field tournaments. Rico says, going to celebrate Mr. I the best way I know how three hot and ready's. I think a lot of us went that route this week, seemed uh, only fitting for a dinner option. Mike said, one of my favorite sports memories was in 1997 when Stevie Y passed from the cup, amazing owner. David said, Mike Illich is a legend. Wow. You two are doing amazing, sharing your feelings about him. Roger says, favorite memory of Mr. I, opening day of Comerica Park when it first opened, a great ballpark. Jason says, Tigers win the World Series for Mike Illich. And Theo saying, uh, Mr. Illich helped to revitalize downtown, seeing all the tributes is a testament to his legacy. Mike, Guys. don't run away. We had uh, a hot, hot and ready and some crazy bread Friday <laughs> night after the news broke, man. And uh, wouldn't have had a better dinner. That was oh, great to eat with you, man. It was perfect. It was, it was the perfect tribute. <laughs> it was. Kyle, the, uh, the biggest tribute to Mr. Illich, to Mike Illich, uh, came a few months ago from Chris Illich and the Illich family when they named the arena Little Caesars Arena. And if your station and your social media feed is anything like ours, people didn't exactly like it. No. But I think we now understand more. A, it's 2017. At the time, it was 2016. Mm -hmm. There's one arena in hockey, Madison Square Garden, that's not named after a business. It seems fitting, man. If they're going to name it after a business, this is the ultimate tribute to the guy that brought the team back. There's no doubt. I think mostly the people freaked out about, you know, the roof. And it was that Little Caesars, the white with the Little Caesars yeah, symbol that was on, you know, the top of the stadium or something like that, which was, you know, unique and a little bit different. But, uh, you know, to me, I think the Pete's Arena, you know, might have been a, a better you yeah. know, name potentially. But no, it's, it's all about Mike Illich and his legacy and what he left. And I will say this, at like 4.30 in the afternoon on Friday, I wasn't going to get pizza for dinner, but I went and got a hot and ready. And then, of course, man. I swear to God. And then, like two hours later, you know, you see the news, and that was—it's just—it's really weird. I don't know. It, yeah. It's a very odd feeling, you know, knowing that he—he uh, he passed away, unfortunately. It is interesting to just think back of all those memories of eating hot and ready's, <laughs> watching Red Wings and Tiger games. <laughs> when we come back, we're going to wrap up with our final thoughts here on the Suburban Ford Seven Sports Cave. We'll see you back here in just a minute.